Hi everyone, Gina here. Um, today I want to do something fun because last couple of days, um, last week or so, I started to practice trans channeling. And I have been doing conscious channeling for last, uh, at least consciously I know I was channeling for last four years. And before that, um, I already, you know, uh, but that's a different story. I just want to let you know, I don't want this video too long because I try to actually show you guys uh, the conscious channeling with tools, uh, conscious channeling without tools, and trans channeling. So I'm actually going to use uh, uh, angel card or card cards to bring the message in uh, that's uh, with tools. And I'm going to do without, tool, without tools, usually the message will come through me. Uh, sensation give image but tools is a good start to practice i started doing angel card reading four years ago so it's helped me to have something to anchor on instead of like you know you needed to train yourself to trust your, your intuition also allow your ego to feel safe then i'm gonna uh, tap into the akashic records this is actually you are um going to uh, i want to i actually i want them to to kind of uh, tell us, you know, about conscious channeling, uh, uh, um, also trans channeling, but Akashic Records, I want to tap into there because that's a, another way of channeling the messaging breathe through through the Akashic Records. And then I'm going to uh, channel the Ascended Masters. Uh, I these days mainly working with Saint Germain. Uh, when I tap into other Ascended Masters, actually, usually they will pull me back to, to Saint Germain. It's like more of like, uh, it's a collective, you know, Saint Germain is uh, the leader uh, of uh, a lot of uh, Saint Masters. So uh, almost I feel pulled back to kind of like work with him until that I uh, gain or graduate from, from, from him or his team, then I can freely jump to channel different Ascendant Masters. I could still can, but I still feel Saint Germain's uh, energy will be strongest. So I think, you know, uh, it would be fun because I have been practicing both and all of them. So it's great to show you guys just in a quick uh, demo to allow you to see what's the differences of those different channel uh, method. And I, after I'm doing that, I'm going to put a video together to deeply to analyze how I feel with each tool to do channeling because I haven't really done uh, those kind of video to uh, put all the channeling uh, ways and method in one video and or in one session and do a video to talk about that, okay? I hope you guys like it because I don't even know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna trust them. And before the video, I was going to do my some of my grounding, but when I'm doing it, they're like, you know what? Why don't you do it uh, during this uh, practice or the showcase session? So I'm gonna show you guys actually um, how I do the practice, the how I calling in when I do uh, conscious channeling and a trans channeling. But just for this this video's purpose, you know. Uh, but in in daily life, I usually do this command when I wake up, or if I meet clients, I will uh, have different command to when I um, channeling for other people or in the healing session. But for this case wise, I just let you know that um, a lot of times the message already comes through like you, if, even though you did not command any, your channel with anybody, it's like your channel is somehow, uh, some of your channel need a command to open it. And some of your channel is already leave this open a little bit. When I, um, maybe second year in, uh, when I was doing the Akash Records, uh, had reading with my teacher or, um, at one session, at the end, she's like, you know, she said that the channel was leaving for me to access the information when I need it because they trust how I use the information. So everybody is very different. So I just let you know that you might already channeling. Um, you are you are already if you are watching this. But I just found to demonstrate all kinds of different channeling ways. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna ground myself and calling in all my guides. I will say this command actually out loud because that's how I do it. So I visualize that and I usually take a deep inhale and I visualize the roots come out of my bottom of my spine, depends on sit or I'm sitting on my couch, so I'm, my feet is not on the ground actually. So visualize the roots come out of my bottom of spine, go all the way down to Mother Gaia. Have energy travel all the way down and going all the way up out of my crown chakra, I'm connect, connected with seventh plane. Um, 
if you guys interested it uh later just comment on i will break it down even deeper because if i do everything super deeper if this video is probably gonna take two hours okay so this is the method when I uh, actually with Zeta Healing, uh, Zeta Healing is working on a subconscious level. We always uh, co uh, connect with the creator's love. So I usually go all the way down to Mother Gaia and all the way up to create, connect with creator's uh, unconditional love. <sighs> creator of that is. It is commanded that you connect with, with uh, all my um, all my angels, archangels, ascending masters, past loved ones, ancestors, beings who could serve my highest grace good to come through uh, this demonstration to provide guidance, clarification, healing energy for all those who need it for their highest grace good with ease and grace. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Show me. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I was going to actually use tools to show you guys first, but since I connect with them first, they actually want me to do the conscious channeling without the tools first, right? Because if I use tools, it was a message that comes through, then my mind probably would just go with the message. So they are like, actually, it makes sense that you need to do the uh, conscious channeling without uh, the tools. So when I tap into the energy, when I say there's a command, and now my um, have goosebumps all over me, but actually the energy is focused on the heart so this uh, this feeling is not a, a heartache type of feeling it's more the heart opening i have this sensation of uh, the heart uh, chakra actually expansion that uh, that cooling energy um it will surface certain uh because how you open art you you hope open your art you need to recognize what's on your heart so we will we will talk about certain um things events that made your heart uh, close at the first place uh through this transmission because i'm actually channeling because this is our it's a healing session basically uh, i'm just demonstrating in, into the public and uh, um whoever is uh in the future watching this video you're gonna receive the healing and if you if you if you open for the healing and if not it's, it's fine now they are showing me the the shorter part it's almost feel like it's heavy but it's also feel it's a protection on the back. So I, I actually sense both of them. Uh, yes, now they also um, um, poke me on, on my right side of the corner. So this is anger. So when I express the feeling of feeling things on your shoulder, but also it feel like a protection. Actually, some of you feel very angry because you're like, no, I don't want to have this weight on my world. But somehow I just could not take off it's almost like I need to have this on to feel safe, if that makes sense. Uh, because a lot of you guys are empath. Uh, uh, um, also in the in your life, you might be the person actually support other people. They actually poking my right back now. So this is um, the emotional support. So you being other people's emotional support uh, for a long time. Actually, without this emotional support in, in, in people's life, you don't know who you truly are, if that makes sense. Okay, so uh, I think uh, I want to stop here a little bit because if I keep going on uh, with this uh, this kind of channeling, I will going on uh, on and on. It's, it, it will be 40 minutes. It will be all like that. So this is kind of like when I simply tap into the um, we call creators unconditional love. This is seventh plane's energy. Yes, the message you bring through. Yes, you don't. You cannot really tell. You know, uh, because for fourth dimension, fifth dimension, uh, they will still have good or bad, you know, left or right. So a lot of my channeling work in the past couple of years, I usually bring the uh, the the creator's love. So come down is more a, a, a higher center way to deliver the message. There's no left or right or right or wrong kind of type of thing. It's a, more describes the energy and a provide, provide a guidance and uh, also relate to the specific uh, uh, clients what they're going through to bring the messages through if that makes sense or use my own own channel so they are also actually poking uh this side as well so, so this is how i started channeling like the message will come through uh, and i'm clear sentence that's my strongest uh, psychic uh psych ability so my channeling actually is a lot of time is clear sentence so they will poke me so i know what does that mean i'm just bring the messages through so okay 
Thank you guys. I know I'm gonna bring you guys back uh, in different, uh, you know, we're gonna tap into Akashic Records to connect a records keeper to see what's the messages they have for humanity. And then we're gonna tap into the Saint Germain. So uh, currently I cannot really do the live channeling for you guys because uh, the YouTube will need to have a thousand subscriber and I'm still, I think 300 more. So if you really like those kind of message, um, this type of information please uh, like subscribe and share and comment you know uh, i will get back to you guys um okay so let's use the card uh and when i use card uh, it depends who is sitting in front of me i will ask their permission to do the card reading but since it's it's i'm doing uh for the collective for the demonstration purpose wise but i'm gonna do a general reading for what's the energy right now uh, in the collective uh, that make more sense so I am gonna use this is my first deck so I'm gonna use my first deck and this is the angel deck and uh, uh, the teacher is actually Melanie Beckler it's no oh uh, yes I think so I think so if, if, if I'm around yes yeah that's the first deck I I purchased uh, uh, from her but my teacher of angel card reading uh, she is from Australia but this deck is from Melanie Melanie Beckler so I'm just going to put an intention, um, connect with card. Uh, that my intention is I want to the general energy for the collective, for the people going through right now. So whatever message comes through. Well, hi, it's Grace. Good. It's Grace. Thank you. Show us what you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have, I usually do three. Let's do three. But I will do quick, quick reading, okay? Because my readings are usually is like, 30 minutes to 40 minutes you can book a reading um on my website in the sensory healing if you want to um but just show you how i, how I do this okay so first one is a release into the light Whee! okay second one is all that oh my goodness all that you are and third one is in the child healing okay I was talking about remember now because they 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 are right they are like yeah Gina of course because um, <laughs> that's why they're like when I tapping they're like you need to do the uh, channel the message uh, first instead of use tool first because if I see those cards later my my mind is already you know gonna tap into those card and message when I do conscious channeling uh, without tools so this is with tools so first one is release into the light uh, Archangel Madison. Yes, yes, he's 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 like yeah. The second one, all that you are, Archangel uh, Muriel and uh, Hanya, Archangel Hanya, in the child healing. So basically, is you know, so I do card is past, present, future. If if not specifically, people ask. So when I see those cards release into the light, which means there's a lot of you are having that the fear of certain things, the feeling fear of when I see second card, all that you are is whatever holding you back to be true version of you, uh, Archangel Metatron uh, wants you to actually want to, you to release into the light. Release into light, which means uh, brings that fear into the light to actually transmute that, actually to face, ask your questions. So when I start to have this fear, where does that come from? Uh, how do I feel, feel, fear, feeling, feel about the fear? okay because you are not your fear you are not your past and uh, um all that you are when you look at this vibrant being she's beautiful she's you know embrace life i you know on this one you see the heart from her heart chakra it's like when you release the fear into the light you open your heart you are trying you are transmuted, you invite more light into your heart, which means transmute the fear to love. You have more love. You will be more open, more embrace the world. Is that? So when you embrace the world, when you feel you are at your peak, you accept who you are, you almost stand on the on this mountain, doesn't matter high or low, it's just like you feel good. You feel you are ready for anything and everything in your life. And I feel, you know, uh, my shoulder also a little bit right, right side because a lot of you are focused on the doing, uh, you need to be the responsible and you are the responsibility. You are responsible for your family's health well-being. You are the provider. There's probably a lot of uh, men or a lot of women with the men's uh, this energy in your energy field. But they are saying that, you know, 
um, trust universe always supports you. You are being supported. Uh, you got You can be who you truly are. But other people say, like, how can I be who I truly are? You know, um, when we have fear, they're like, okay, you need to connect with your inner child. Tap into your inner child healing, which means that. Oh, that's a lot of you know the way you can do you 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 can do that our inner child being abused being hurt being abandoned not by other people by ourselves okay because uh when we are five six years old you know we start going to school we start to you know be pleasing our teacher our parents whoever in our life that we actually disconnect with the inner child okay and a lot of fear come in is because you disconnect from the inner child that's why you 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 are you don't feel who you are anymore a lot of people you are lost right now you are you were you were seeking you were looking to reconnect with yourself but there's a lot of fear it's like well if i really be the do what i want to do when i was young you know we always ask what's your dream when you were a little girl or little boy you say this but you're like you realize you are far away from what you really want to do and then you're like well you ask me i do what i want to do when i want to do when five years old damn that will be really really scary because i have to leave that relationship i have to leave i have to leave that job um i have to start a business which i'm so afraid of public speaking so what you what do you want me to do so did you see how the loop so when we want to transmute fear to love if your inner child is doesn't feel safe you probably won't be able to you cannot force a five years child to say cross street to walk there is it's it's, it's safe so the child will look at you and probably crying and hold your leg and you won't be you have to walk with this child to cross the road right so the same thing that if you want to release the fear transmute fear to love you cannot just just you need to be with your inner child to say hey i'm sorry that i left you here i bent you now i'm come here i will walk this journey with you please forgive me and thank you and i love you right there's a honopono there's prayer things come come through so i think this is i'm gonna stop right here for the um color reading so this is when i do color reading you, with the certain words i have direction to go but I also because now when i do reading um i already you, after you practice level one, level two, level three, level four, when I say the level doesn't mean high or low. It's, it's, it's you build up. When you build up, I now I can do reading without any card. I just look at people, connect with them, with their energy. Uh, that's when I do Zeta healing. I don't use any tools, just me and the client. Um, but with card, you, you, you will see, it will tell you a story. If I pull more cards, still that story, they will, they will kind of show me the storyline and I start talking. And that time when I, now when I do card reading, because my clear sentence, uh, the, the, this kind of ability, when I use tools, they will still showing me uh, with my body sensation. So I can use uh, the card, also my own body sensation to bring the message over, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Now, the other two, um, I'm not gonna break this down video to two parts just because for the time, and I don't want you guys to, um, kind of like, uh, you know, watch a video for like 40 minutes. This is 18 minutes, nine round. I think I'm gonna uh, actually stop the video right here and I will come back to you with uh, Akashic Record uh, channeling and also the trans channeling. Uh, those two, I have no idea what are gonna come out. It's just <laughs> this is you fully need to surrender into the process okay i'll see you in the next video